Hello friends, today we are discussing the basic programming model and application instruction set, part 5 of it. The segment register, six segments of the memory can be immediately accessible to an execution of the 8036 program. The segment register, DS, CS, ESS, it is a code segment, data segment, stack segment, extra segment, FS and GS are used to identify these six current segments. Each of these registers specifies a particular kind of the segment as characterized by the associated mnemonics. mnemonics. The model A access the code segment, stack segment access the stacks and the data segment model A data is access the, the segment containing the currently executing sequence of the instruction is known as the current code segment. A code segment consists of the currently executing sequence of the instruction and the 8036 fetches all these instructions from this code segment using an offset the content of the instruction pointer. That means whatever the currently executed instructions are there which are placed in a code segment and a 386 wants to fail execute it instruction can fetch these instructions from the code segment while fetching it instruction it uses an offset the content of the instruction pointer the stack segment extra segment data segment fs and gts ss subroutine calls parameter stack segment means a subroutine calls parameter procedure aviation records are usually required to allocate the memory as a stack so whenever the procedure call is there, a subroutine calls is there, or parameters are there, okay, they need to allocate a memory as a stack. At that time, a stack segments is activated. All stack operations uses a SS registers. Whatever the stack operations are there, they uses a SS register to locate the stack. Data registers such as the DS, ES, and FS, and a GS register. These four registers are nothing but a data register which allows the specification of the four data segments, which data register access the different types of the data structures. This can be the type of the data structures, current module, exported data, dynamically created data, structured and a shared data, and with a, another task, status and IP instruction pointer. The flags are of the 32-bit and EAX, EIP extraction instruction pointer, which is also of the 32-bit. The flag register 36 is a 32-bit register. Out of the 32-bit, Intel has resolved the D1 and D31, D5 and D33 and set to the zero while DUI is always set to the one the two extra new flags are added to 386 and 286 flag driving flag register of the 386 they are virtual memory and rf flags flag registers are as shown in a figure cf stands for the carry flag so whenever the carry is generated this flag is flag bits are set priority flags the priority instructions are there so at that time the priority flags are set auxiliary carry flags auxiliary carry flags but if there is isn't carry generated auxiliary carry is generated during the addition and the subtraction a zero flags whenever a zero flags are set whenever a, a result of the arithmetic operation become a zero at that time a zero flag is set a sign flag which indicate the sign of the result whether it is a positive or a negative a trap flag interrupt enable this in this flag enables the interrupt direction flags gives the direction for the string operation overflow flags so whenever a uh, uh, overflow occur in an arithmetic operation, this overflow flag are set. A privilege levels, as we know that uh, there are the four privilege levels, 
So IOPL is a privilege level flag, which is said nested task flag. A resume flag, whenever a resume from any instruction or in any routine is needed, the resume flag is said. Virtual thread six, virtual mode flag is there. Uh, this bit is said whenever thread six enters into the virtual mode. Yes, is a status flag, C is a control flag, X is a system flag. Note that zero indicates the Intel preserve and and one zero and one indicates that Intel is preserve reserve it and a not is defined. VM bit at that is the virtual mode flag. If this flag bit is set to the one, the eight zero three eight six enters the virtual mode within the protection mode. When VM bit is zero, three or six operates in a protected mode. This is to be set only when a zero three or six is in a protected mode. This bit can be set using the IRET instructions or any task switch operation only in the protected mode. A virtual mode flag bit. If this flag is set to the one. The 386 enter the virtual mode within the protection mode. When VM bit is zero, the 386 operates in a protected mode. This is to be said only when the 8036 is in protected mode. This bit can be said by using the IRT instructions or any task switch operation only in the protected mode. RF bit that is a resume flag. If uh, RF is equal to one. RF bit is in set one. The three eight six ignores the debug faults and does not take any another exception, so that an instruction can be restarted after a normal debug exception. If a RF is equal to zero, RF flag bit is zero. The three eight six takes the another debug exception to service a debug faults. This flag bit is used with the debug register breakpoints. It is a check at the starting of every instruction cycle, and if it is a set to the one, any debug fault is ignored during the instruction cycle. The RF is automatically reset after successful execution of every every instruction, except for IRT and POPF instructions. Also, RF it is automatically cleared. RF flag. RF bit are automatically cleared after successful execution of the jump, call, and interrupt instruction, causing a task switch. So while these instructions are used, it is automatically cleared the RF bits. Virtual mode, that is a VM three eight six mode. If this VM bit is set while the Intel three eight six DX is in the protected mode. The Intel 386 DX will switch to the virtual 8086 mode. The virtual mode bit can be set only in a protected mode by the IRET instruction. Resume flag if a RF flag is used in a conjunction with the debug register breakpoint. When RF is set, it is caused by the debug fault to be ignored on the next instruction. Nested task this flag. Applies to the protected mode. Nested task bit is set to indicate the exception of this task is nested within a another task. The value of the NT bit in a flag is tested by the IRET instructions to determine whether to do an inter-task return or an inter-task return. IOPL input output privilege level. This two bit field applies to the protected mode. IOPL bit indicates numerically maximum current privilege levels value permitted to execute the I/O instructions without generating an exception. It also indicates the maximum CPL value. CPL means current privilege value, allowing the alternation of the IF that is an intra enable flags bit when a new values are popped into the flag registers. IF intra enable flag 
higher flag pin set allows the recognition of external interrupts signaled on the inter point trap flag when a trap flag is set the intel 386 dia generates an exception one trap after the next instruction is executed when a trap flag is reset exception one trap occur only as a function of the breakpoint address loaded into debug register these are the dr0 to dr3 overflow flag it is a it is set if the operation resulted in a sign overflow sign overflow occurs when the operation resulted in a carry or a borrow into the sign bit of the result overflow flag if this bit is set if the operation result in a sign overflow means the result of the operation carries a sign at that time a overflow flag is set sign overflow occurs when the operation resulted a carry or a borrow which is into the sign direction flag direction flag defines whether a esi or adi register post decremented or post incremented during the string instructions direction flag whether a esi or ads register edi registers are incremented or post decremented or incremented during the string instructions that means direction uh, direction flag works in case of the string instruction post decremented occurs if a df is set Thank you friends for watching the video